Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be doing the bench testing on the T-Motor F45 Amp ESC. Now you might say, wait, didn't you do that the other day? Well, the other day actually we did the T-Motor F55 Amp, which is a little different ESC. And as you can tell, the 45 Amp is just slightly larger with these really ugly motor pads that are sticking out that way. I don't know why they went along with this kind of design, but I guess to make themselves look a little bit different. Now, if we flip it on the bottom side, this is pretty interesting here. We do have a shunt resistor for each ESC, which tells us there is telemetry. Not only that, there's a connector, and I guess, hopefully, yes, we can. We can access motors one through four, plus telemetry through soldering just wires here. So that's really nice. And everything else will be through there and we'll see what that is in a tiny bit right now. So as you can tell here, the filtration looks somewhat minimal, but um, it does come with a low ESR capacitor and they are expecting you and, and to put the low ESR capacitor, especially if you're gonna be using it on a 6S. Also with the T-Motor F55 amp ESC. I still haven't started 6S shootout, but it'll be upcoming very soon. I just need a little bit, I just need, to be honest, I just need some help. I'm looking for someone to come help me uh, in the shop to do it because it just takes so much time and so much effort and work. So let's see what it comes in the box here. We have our connector. So I'm guessing they're gonna be releasing some sort of a flight control of war if they haven't already. They give you two connectors. What else do they give us? They give us two low ESR capacitors. Again, like the T-Motor F55. They give you Rubicon 35 volt, 470 microfarad low ESR capacitors, rubber grommets. And what the hell are these here? Oh my goodness. They really provide this with it. And they also give you T-Motor branded race wire. I forgot what the hell it's called, but I mean, it's, um, these are really nice because you can solder, you can make your motor wires really short, solder them here, and then bring the wires up to the form one ESC. So if you don't have anything that gets hit or you don't cut the wires or damage your motor that way. So that's really nice. They, I didn't see this inside the F55 amp version. So that is um that is a huge plus. I, I just didn't know that. I never opened this before. I really like that actually. Good job, T Motor. I mean, obviously with your price, but yeah, good job. Anyways. All right. So overall, it's a BLH32 ESC. Uh, enough talking. Let's take it on the bench and let's get testing. Alright guys, so the results are in and it's looking actually pretty good. So let's get started. Now top we have the throttle noise level test at specific throttle levels in order to see how noisy it is at a specific throttle to see if it has a higher probability of introducing mid throttle oscillations due to electrical noise. So we have 10% throttle, 25, 50, 75 and 100% throttle. Both of these are exactly the same. And on the bottom, we have simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. Now, before continuing on, if I do help you make a purchase or an avoid a purchase, please consider using the links down below. And also, I do have a Patreon. That'd be super awesome if you could support me there to keep this channel afloat. So, let's continue on again. All right, so this is a T-Motor F45 amp ESC. And I forgot to mention that it's rocking F3 microcontroller unit, which means it's a lot faster. And I think the reason for that is because I noticed that some BL Heli 32 ESCs, not with the F3 ESCs, the older ones, if you're using some kind of 6S setup with 1900 kV plus motors uh, for like kind of like a low kV but like a mid low kV with a 6S setup, you might have a lot of issues. So I think this is the reason why they set up the F3s. And obviously there's also other reasons why they're using an F3. But I know some of those problems do exist. So this is rated up to 6S. It's using pretty nice MOSFETs. F3 has telemetry, has shunt resistor for every single ESC. So up here, it's looking... It's looking good so far. I mean, we have to start comparing it to something, obviously. Uh, let's go ahead and bring its uh, bigger brother, which is a T-Motor F55 amp ESC, uh, the 4-in-1. Let's see it. Let me just bring it up here. All right, so we're going to bring up the throttle noise right here. So on the left now, we have the T-Motor F55 amp 4-in-1. 
and okay so and on the right we have the 45 amp which is the one we're testing here now as you can tell here it's doing good but not as good as the t-motor f55 amp even the saying that doesn't make it a bad esc it's still actually a really good esc however expect it to be slightly more noisy on a 6s setup and it is highly recommended you add those low esr capacitors on both escs if you're using anything above a 4s setup until i do my 6s shootout all right so in terms of filtration it's doing pretty good it's uh it's i would say it's in the top seven four and one esc all right, so let's examine the throttle noise here. And if we can take a look here, we obviously see the T-Motor F55 amp is doing good. And the T-Motor F45 amp is doing decent enough. This is still really good. You have low probability of getting mid-throttle oscillations due to electrical noise on a 4S setup. And this was tested without the low ESR capacitor. Now, let's go and take a look at the simulator aggressive flight maneuvers. And again, don't forget the T-Motor F55 amp is the top ESC currently, the top 4-in-1 ESC to be exact. It's up there with the Tico 32. So, uh, to, you know, this is still performing almost just as good. Let's bring in something that's, um, I don't know, let's call it mid-range maybe. Hmm... I'm going to bring in a little ESC here. For example, let's bring in the Racer Star Metal. It's a 4-in-1 ESC, and it's actually pretty spectacular. I mean, in the, in the performance that it makes for such a price, as you can tell here, just to get a better idea. And let's put this down here. Uh, it's performing, I think I would say, just a little bit worse in terms of filtration against the Racer Star Metal. The Racer Star Metal has some really big capacitors on there. And it is also rated up to a 6S. However, I've never done the real world testing on either of these. So that'll come back down to the comments to see other people's uh, experiences with them, basically. So they're performing. It's still in the top you know, tier of ESCs, the T-Motor F45 amp. And um, it's just, it's it's a it's a good ESC. That's all I can say. Now, you know, you have to take a lot of things into consideration also with the ESC. ESC. It's actually doing quite a lot. It's doing the telemetry. It has the F3, yeah, it has the F3 microcontroller unit. It has, um, it just has a bunch of things on there. I'm surprised that it's actually doing this good with everything on there. And what I've noticed is on F3 ESCs, you can get away with using less filtration. And the reason is for that, I think it's because of the higher processing power. It could catch the phases um, basically almost perfect every time, thus reducing the back EMF, which is the back, you know, the, 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 you know, the voltage spikes or the back inrush of current. And uh, this is why we can kind of get away with using less capacitors now with the F3s. But that won't help in hard crashes. In hard crashes, you know, uh, these, these spikes can go pretty damn massive and they can burn a bunch of shit. So you just be careful with that. Um, so the CSE so far is good. I don't know what to compare it next to. You know, let's bring in the Ori 32. It's that 20 by 20 stack. I'm just really curious how it's going to it's gonna compare with this. Uh, it's still, this is a really crazy actually stack. I'll have this one linked down below. It's a 20 by 20 stack that, that people have used on a 6S. And uh, it's doing really good actually. That's pretty crazy. Obviously the T-Motor F45 amp is still is doing better. But, you know, in, in this tier of ESCs, they're all doing just about the same basically. They're all really, really good here. Um... Let's see, what else do we have here? Hmm, I'm trying to figure out something. Let's just bring in the Dal RC Rocket 45 amp. So I guess then both of these are kind of 45 amp. So here's a noise, and let's go ahead and bring in the uh, throttle here for it. Where is it? There it is. This is a Dal RC Rocket 45 amp version. Uh, as you can tell, in terms of throttle noise, uh, it's performing a bit cleaner actually quite a little bit more cleaner than the team than the dal rc that's yeah, performing a lot cleaner the the a t motor f45 is performing a lot better in the uh in the throttle noise level test here against the dal rc rocket now if we take a look on the bottom here on uh, the simulator aggressive flight maneuvers they're performing almost identical basically maybe maybe hmm just i think uh this is performing a little bit better i think the dal rc rocket is performing here a little bit better just because of these little areas here but these don't really you know affect much this is just you know nitpicking here they're still both really good escs uh these are all really great escs so let's bring in an older one which is dal rc engine here just to get a better idea because i know it's always nice to compare to other things because it just gives you a nice perspective on how things are actually performing instead of just you know talking about it um as you can tell here, you know, the Dal RC engine is, is still competing. You know, that, that, that thing's a little beast. However, you're not going to be able to put a 5 and a 6S on there. Take that into consideration. You could probably get away with putting a 5S, 
but you will degrade the quality of the MOSFETs because the FETs on the Dell RC engine cannot handle that. So take that into consideration. However, again, the T-Motor 40 F45 amp here just has all the features and plus. So, you know, you, you it's your decision, basically. You decide on what you want to go with and what your budget's going to allow you. But overall, it's a good ESC here on the bench testing. And the bench testing never failed me, ever. Uh, which is it's that's something I really like here. So overall... It's a beast of an ESC. Um, it's on the top, I would say the top seven list, probably. Uh, it w it's not in the top five. I would drop it down a little bit. I mean, it could be, but, you know, it's price. And then you also got, but you got all those features. So, you know, I can't, I just can't make up my mind on that. That's, that just comes back to you. But overall, in the testing and how it performs, performs really great. Uh, noise, uh, the, the mo motor sounded really smooth. So that's always a huge plus. If the motor is sounding smooth and it's not getting hot, then um, that means everything is running great. All the, all the phases are catching correctly. And um, that's what we saw on the T-Motor. Uh, f45 amp esc here so overall it's a good one it gets a thumbs up for me let me know down in the comments your experience not just for me for everybody else and um well that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh i'll see you in the next couple esc tests i have a bunch more coming peace out guys